Hey there, Mikhail's here with Toasty DIY, and today I'm doing something a little different. I am not a very computer savvy person. Surprisingly, I work in an office full of very computer savvy people. I constantly call a CPU a processor. I, I constantly confuse any part for any other part that has the same name. Uh, I don't know what the difference between graphics cards are. Uh, I've gotten some knowledge, of course, by editing these videos, but probably not as much as you think. If you ask me the difference between any two items in the PC space, I won't have a clue on what to tell you. But I'm going to attempt to use my meager knowledge to fill out one of these PC Pro build quotes. Uh, this is what Matt and Jackson use for their uh, morning streams when they build these custom PCs. It's kind of how they keep track of all their, their stuff. So... I'm going to go through and try to fill out one of these and see what I can do. And then Jackson will come in here and kind of rate my build and then tell me how I did, good or bad, and we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and start uh, just the way that I know uh, is PC Part Picker. I know will prevent me from getting incompatible parts. Uh, I will then use PC Part Picker to go and, like, look up uh, actual, like, eBay and see if I can't get a deal. My goal what i'd like to do is find like an interesting graphics card or something like that like i don't know i'd like to do some kind of fun build but i, I also know that my limits are i don't know anything so maybe i should just be simple so i guess I'll, I'll look and see if i can't find something fun to uh to spice it up cpu i don't know okay i'm gonna do what i do now which i think by the way i've been approved for a thousand dollar budget uh but i don't think i'm gonna get that high my goal is to aim low, so that way if I'm off, I just feel like the difference between like a $600 board and a $900 board is incrementally small. While if I do a $100 board, there's probably like a more optimal $120 or, you know, a more optimal $80. At least I'm not that far off is my logic. So the B5, B4, those are what I always hear, so I'm going to go that no matter what. Uh, I love the small – what's the smallest form factor? Smallest form factor is mini – or micro. Okay, so I want to use mini ITX. I love I love small computers. So I want mini. I don't know. Let's just look for mini ITX. Mini ITX. And that costs no... Okay, I've never heard them mention that name in my life, so I feel scared. Can I just say... Oh, wait, I can come over here and pick one. So B450 is what I feel like I hear them say a lot. What is this about? What is that nonsense? I don't like this one. I don't like that at all. Let's do B550, see if we can find something more. Is that the same one again? It looks very similar, but it's not the same one. There's an NVMe SSD slot. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to try to surprise them with something unique here. So, I don't know. This is where, I like, it's these words mean nothing to me. Um, so, I'm going to pick an arbitrary thing to work off of, which will be, I want it to be Two hundred dollars or lower. Uh, it has to be AMD, I think, right? It looks like it has to be AMD. Okay, because that's how the pin thingy works. I guess I go by just the best rated going down. AMD thirty six hundred. You know that sounds normal. Um, but I think I'm gonna do this fifty six hundred X. I've heard that name before. I don't know what the X stands for. I can't tell if that's built in GP graphics. Because if it is, I don't need it. Uh. I know that's something that they have. Does the X mean built in or not built in? Uh, what's the difference between X and not X? Does it, Does anyone know how to explain what the X is for an idiot, please? Um, I, I'm going to do the X. CPU cooler. It comes with a stock cooler. This is a mini build. I have no clue what will fit in this case yet. For memory, I don't know what the highest speed you can get to work is. Um, I'm not going RGB on this build. What I want is just like a tiny computer that's just sleek and you can set down and not worry about it. Uh, I may change this RAM later if I find out. <laughs> We're going to go 32 gigs if we can. Um, 32 gigs. Can I pick RGB or not RGB? Okay, Corsair Vengeance. I like the look of that. What's LPX mean? Is that bad? G-Skill Ripjaw. That looks kind of booty water. Am I crazy? They just look... See, G-Skill, I know I used G-Skill before. T-Force Vulcan, I recognize those for sure, team group. I'm going to assume, here's my here's my thing, I'm going to do the Vulcan because it's 3,600. I'm going to assume the higher the number, the better. Uh, it's black, which I'm gonna, I want to be like nothing 
colorful on there. Storage, I want. It looks like it had an SSD slot, so of course I want to like a, at least a one terabyte SSD. But I would love to have a secondary hard drive as well. Um, one terabyte, ninety-seven it's crucial P3 plus. Yeah, crucial drive seems fine. That I know we use Solidime quite a bit here, I believe. I don't know how much room we'll have for an actual hard drive. So I'm going to leave that off for now and let Jackson kind of tell me what he thinks of that. Now, this is where I'm probably going to be able to save money, but this is also like where I know nothing. Um, here's what I do know is that people seem to really like NVIDIA. <laughs> Can I get an NVIDIA card? Yeah, there we go. Their stock is good. Their cards must be good, right? Their cards must be good. Wow, these are expensive. Maybe that NVIDIA is not all it's cracked up to be. Maybe we just reopen that bag of worms and we say anything will do uh how do i do that where was that option oh my jesus christ <laughs> i should put this on there to see if i can just make jackson mad i don't know dude this is this is difficult this sapphire card seems oh that's so expensive never mind never mind why are they so expensive let's just say this sapphire pulse <laughs> i don't know the reason i'm picking it logically for me is it looks like it's one of the uh, the more like okay sizes so maybe and i see two fans so it's probably not too long i like the compact nature i think i recognize 7800 xt uh, and i'm hoping i can find one for sale later on ebay and make that cheaper now choosing a case i only want micro atx do not how much is this you know what that's what we're going to go with we're going to just add that I know there's a tier list out there, but I don't quite care. I have worked here, and, and sue me, but I have worked here for X amount of time, and I have seen power supplies that, in my opinion, look like more like bombs than, than computer parts, and I've never heard of any of our computers having any issues except for one that had a reversed plug, and it caused it to smoke. That was the only time I ever saw a computer have a problem. So people can say what they want, but uh, I have seen thousands of one maybe is it thousand i've probably seen well into the hundreds of computers come and go in my life and i have never once seen a power supply cause an issue so i'm gonna assume that it's kind of like uh when people that are car people talk about engines and i just don't understand because if it has four wheels car go that's my logic i'm not gonna try to pick a bad one but i'm gonna try to be good here thermal take is a name i know uh, why do I know it? I don't know, but I know it and I've heard it. And now there's an option for ATX. So I need that. Don't I need, wait, ATX or SFX mini IT. Okay. Wait, all 80 plus gold, 750. We're pulling 400 Watts. So yeah. That 750 feels like room, room to grow. People seem to like this thing. It doesn't seem like a bomb outright. Um, and that would be it. And that's too much. That costs too much. Well done. All right. So this is what needs to change for sure. Uh, that's what I want to pay. Okay, you know what? I recognize the name 3060. Add. Yeah, I'll throw this into it. I'm going to have, I'm not going to follow the build quote thing. I'm just going to have Jackson look at this because I think this would be easier than having him do the build quote. Uh, actually, you know, I'll do it. I'll look it on eBay and see if I can't find it cheaper first. Let's just do that. Get the real, the real experience here. See, I feel like to order off here to make it worth it, I need to get it for at least like 90 to make it valuable for purchasing off eBay and risking it. I guess you have the buyer protection. All right, we're going to say this one. Uh, so it quickly devolved. Okay, no, I don't trust it. I don't trust it at all. All right, we go to team group. Not trying to make the most big bucks off of it. Trying to just get it out of their pockets, and it seems like that's not going to happen. I don't think it's worth buying storage off a website. So let's just go for this RTX 3060 Ventus. Looks fine to me. Okay. I think this is the same card. Can I see the power? All right, and then I'm not buying a power spot in there, so I could save money with these two parts. So let me go ahead and say, okay, so that's not available. So I guess I gotta pick another one. I've seen that one a lot. I, I just recognize the wooden paneling in the front. Okay, wait, it's not how we felt this building. I'm gonna get Jackson in here. I think this is my best version I could build. I'm gonna get him in here to look at this. And he'll tell me what he thinks, and I'll sit in the background by him probably as he, as he tells me what he thinks. But this is my final build. Uh, it's going to be this Ryzen 5600X 
uh, six core processor, the ASRock P550 MITX, Team Group Vulcan RAM, 32 gigabytes, Crucial P3 Plus, one terabyte, uh, the MSI RTX 3060 Ventus, and then the Fractal Design Torrent Nano Mini case, and then the Corsair RM750. Uh, my logic behind all these parts are uh, I recognize the name of this core, so I just went ahead and went with it because I, I feel like I, I recognize it, and my guess is I recognize it from our budget uh, CPU videos because the, the price seems good. Uh, the ASRock B550, I picked B550 because I know I hear B560, B540, B whatever all the time, and I wanted a small one, and I looked up Mini ITX is the smallest. Team Group Vulcan, uh, I picked them because I've heard of Team Group before. I recognize their name. And then I saw that it said uh, 32 gigs, and I thought that's got to be better. So even if I get bad RAM, my thought is, and Jackson can tell me if I'm wrong or not, I thought if I get worse RAM, if at least I have more gigs of RAM, then at least cover myself in a way. And it's only $57, and I don't want RGB, so that saves money. The Crucial, I recognize Crucial's name. And uh, as far as SSDs go, I'm sure there's like actual, if you really get nitpicky, but if you're like me, I'm sure just having an NVMe SSD is going to be miles better than whatever whatever else I might have done. Uh, the MSI GeForce 3060 Ventus, I got that because I recognize GeForce and 3060. I recognize those names. And when it says 12 gigabytes, I assume that's VRAM, and I think VRAM is good. Uh, the Fractal Torrent Nano Mini is not the case I should have. Uh, it should be this Thermaltake Core. Uh, I like that just because it's 50 bucks and it's small, and I like the idea of an easy-to-move PC for me because I have a small desk at home. And I'm realizing more and more if you're like a first-time moving and getting your own desk, unless you get one from, like, Goodwill or whatever, you're probably getting one of those really thin motherfuckers. So that was that thought. And the last was Corsair for power supply because I recognize Corsair. Uh, and I just figured, why not? It says 80 plus gold and had a lot of good reviews, so I assume it lands somewhere good on whatever that fucking tier list is. So uh, it's 826 which is cheaper. It might be even cheaper still if Jackson decides to go with my two, uh, you know, off, you know, not on – Amazon purchases, but I'll see what he thinks. I'm going to get him in here. Okay. So this is what I parted together. I found a cheap version of that one. I don't know if it's a good graphics card in any way. Uh, so this is the 8 gig version, which is technically uh, the standard one. It's 12 gig, as you can see there. And there actually is a performance difference. Um, it's not like insane, but it's it's there. So the 8 gig one does perform a little worse, but it is cheaper. Um, okay, 5600X for 114 bucks. They got decent ratings, it looks like. Uh, CP oh, brand new in the tray. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this is the, the main thing I like to do is make sure that, like, you know, if it's not, like, tons cheaper. That's what I didn't know how much. Uh, my thought process, if it's not at least 30 under mm -hmm. what it costs. Yeah. Uh, without disputing. That's not bad. I didn't know. Now, are you doing a cooler? That's the only thing is it won't come with a cool. It will come with a cooler if you buy it like this. But if you buy it like from this eBay one where it's just trade, it won't have a cooler. Now, if I'm not wrong, I thought we have a ton of we do. coolers here. So we I do. <laughs> yeah. You went the Crucial P3 Plus. It's a good uh, Gen 4 drive. And this, uh, the CPU is Gen 4 compatible. That is kind of important. Yeah, it is a mini ITX board. It's B550, so that would work. Mm, RAM looks good. It's a good, decent deal for 32 gigs, and it's a pretty fast speed. Yeah, this case is definitely, we've built in it a couple times. Um, It's not, like, the prettiest case, but, yeah, like, it, like it's, it's not the prettiest case, but, like, it's not bad looking by any means. It's, so it's all mesh, so it's, like, a high airflow case. The only thing is the top has some see-throughness, so you're looking down into the motherboard. Like, that's your I.O. there. So, like, it's, like I said, it's not a bad looking case by any means, and 50 bucks for Mini ITX is about as cheap as it gets for Mini ITX. The other thing that's nice is this case can take a full-size power supply, uh, which it looks like you did get a, a pretty standard full-size. Now, I will say, depending on who you are, some people really like highly rated power supplies. 100 bucks is, it'll work, right? Like, it'll definitely work, but it is expensive. And I know that they don't have a lot of options on here. So I didn't know what power supply to go with, so I was like, I don't know if this is good or bad. But, you, but you'd rather get the one that's cheaper, right? I'd rather the get the engine one that's, cheaper that's, yeah. So point. 650 watts. Um, which, do you have an idea, this build is never going to pull more than, like, 200 watts. Like, yeah. it's a really low-power build. So, these are great. 80-plus gold. Uh, it is a little less power, but like I said, you don't need it. Um, it's not modular, so there is going to be some extra cables, but I think it's worth the $50, personally. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you agree on that. But, no, this is a nice power supply, so I would say we switch that, though, to the Seago Tep, just because lower in build. Um, and, yeah, I don't know how much, because 3060s, you know, they're kind of 
They're kind of getting old at this point, so let's see what those go for normally. I guess you can get a 12 gig for 290. They even sell. Oh, here's an 8 gig for 260. And our eBay guy is doing 219. I've actually bought from uh, this seller before. Let's see. Um, so used. Uh, let's see. Used for mining. No functionality. Fully functional. So that's cool. Um, and it's a good looking car. Like it's not super beat up. For PC bros, most customers they're gonna see. 3060. They're not really going to care a ton about the VRAM difference, especially if the build's a good amount cheaper than one with 12 gigs. So me personally, and it would be a switch up too. We normally always use the 12 gig one. So usually with our customs, we like them to be a little different, right? And you're already pretty different with it being mini ITX. Yeah, no, I mean, it looks pretty good. Like I said, just, it's like the build would work as is. This would definitely work. You need a cooler, obviously, but you said, you know, you'll use one of the ones we have. So this would definitely work. It'd be a solid build. Um, the only things I would change would be the power supply, and I think that was it. I think right, other than so that, what just would you, what yeah. would you rate this if somebody walked up to you and said, "Rate my build. This is my first build. What would you rate this?" Because it's unique in Mini ITX, I'd give it a slightly higher rating because that's usually, like you were saying, it's not easy to plan a Mini ITX build. Um, you may have gotten lucky with some of the things, like the fact that it takes a full size power supply. I don't know if you knew that. Um, uh, no, but it didn't stop me from. My assumption was, as long as it doesn't stop me from adding it, I'll do it. Yeah. And I took it because it was the cheapest in that price line. I'd said, I said, I wonder I, why does it say that it's incompatible? PC part picker list is a little stupid. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. It says, it seems like it's upset about, I mean, it's a B550, which is AM4, and you're using a Ryzen 5000. I mean, that's perfect. That's how it's supposed to be. Anyways, um, I guess now we got to order the parts and have you build it. <laughs> the, <laughs> the next part of the series. The, the, DIY the next part of the series, it keeps going, chat. <laughs> <laughs> <If you> <laughs>